everybody welcome back to the channel so on today's video we're going back to the cottage core sort of thing and i really wanted to show you guys some of my favorite cottage core paths and like the paths that i use in my save all that sort of stuff i like love <laughs> i love custom bathing i think that especially with a couple of different themes that it makes the island there are some themes that you can get away with like not really doing much custom pathing or like very minimal pathing but i just think like the people who create these are so damn talented and and like they just save an island sometimes for cottage core islands the big custom path is the like dirt path and that just like sets the theme sets the tone in my opinion <laughs> but i wanted to touch base on some of my favorite paths and some of my favorite custom design creators some of my favorite in-game artists so that you guys can save their paths too i have a bunch of them favorited on my account because they're just so talented like incredibly talented Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. So how we're going to run this is I'm going to split it into five different categories. So we're going to start off with the variations of different dirt paths. We're going to go into some flower paths. We're then going to head into stone pathing and then we'll have some grass pathing and then we'll have our miscellaneous paths. So anything that didn't really fit in with these seams, but are super, super cute and you should still check out. So without further ado, let's start off with all of our dirt paths. There are so many in this category because this is the best kind of thing for a cottage core island. So firstly, we're going to start off with this one by Boys Crossing. So it is a dirt path. There's also a code in there for some garden steps if you wanted to save them as well. I really like this path because it's simple in the way that it's just like the corners and there's not like 20 million paths for it. But you do get the option to customize the inner pathing bits for it. Like there's one with like a pauper in and like some with flowers and some with like caved out areas. And it's got this really cute little floral design around the edge. And I just think it's a really cool one. I almost replaced all of my paths for this one and I'm still heavily considering it. <laughs> Our second dirt path that we have is kind of like a mix between flower and dirt path. This one's called the Hiller Path and this is by Little Poppy Hill. I wanted to keep it in the path category because I feel like you can have all these sorts of different paths. Like the path doesn't have to particularly be a dirt path. I really like this one. It's really like florally. It's very, very, very cute. Next up, we have this flower path by Kuroneko. This one is really, really, really cool. I really like this one because you can do normal in-game pathing and then put this on the side to create a really cool effect and like add little flower gardens to the side or you can just straight up not do that and then just have this as a regular path like a dirt path it's really cute it's a really nice shade of green if you're going for like a greeny cottage cool vibe and i just think it's really neat this creator also has a lot of amazing paths and we will be touching base with them further in this video next up we have one of my favorite creators cats this is the path that i used to have on my island and i love it for so many reasons you have the option of a really nice like pink and purple floral exterior or just the plain path with this one there's also little path patches that you can put on the outsides to decorate it with it has extra kinds of like exterior shaped paths so there's really Really just so many different opportunities you can do with this one. Next up, we have a really cute natural path and stone look, also by Kuroneko. This one's a really cute path with some grass on the sides, and there's also some stones there. And this one also has some smaller stone paths that you can just add to the sides for decorations, like with the previous path. It's really cute and also gives it that just like real grass looking vibe and like greeny sort of vibe. Next up, we have another one by Boys Crossing, and this is a dirt road path. Like a regular dirt path, but in more of the shape of a road. So it's got these like diagonal paths, which I think are really cool. You can get a sort of like straight walkway looking like path with this one. I really like the inner path that has that little bit of grass to it. I think it's really cute. Next up, we have the Thea path and this one's by Goldie Horizons. This is such a cute like lavender path. It is so cute. It also just has those sort of like simple, only a couple of pathing options instead of like a lot of them. But I really like how it's just this really nice color and it's got the purple flower on the side it's just very cute next up we have this path called the desire path by harimori this is a really nice muted path it definitely feels a lot more natural than some of the other paths and it does blend in very nicely with your island next up we have this beautiful path by a creator called winnie this is just another dirt path and then you also yet again have the option of like a nice pink and white exterior with some flowers or just the regular exterior. A really cute little path with a couple of different options. Next up for you autumn lovers we have this really really awesome autumn path by Trenna Barnes. This has got the autumn leaves, the mushrooms, it's just it's a very cute little vibe. <laughs> this one is super cute especially if you're going really into that like full sort of mushroom theme. It's a perfect path for it. Next up we 
have this white flower path by clay ACNH. It gives you the option for a plain path or the one with the little mushrooms and everything in between. It's really cute and I like that it's got that little hole path in the middle. And lastly, we have this one over here. There's no name or creator for it, but there is a creator code there. It's got really nice leaves on the exterior, a couple of different pathing options. And I feel like this one blends in with the ground really nicely as well, like some of the other ones. And it's just a really cute code. It's so many cute pathing codes, not enough design slots. I see an issue here, Animal Crossing. Give us more custom pathing design slots. Next up, let's head on over to the flowers. First up, we have this really awesome creator here and they've got these like circle floral paths they're super cute and I really like having these little circle floral paths on your island next up this is one of my favorite like flower path creators <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce their name but this is the creator here they have so many different options for flower paths they have this really incredible stone and like autumn leaf path and also just a like green leaf path and it blends in so nicely I love this creator so much they have a bunch of amazing paths and I have so many of them saved and just scatter throughout my island. They all look really nice. Next up, we have this creator, Lily, and they have some like leaf floral paths here, which are really cute. They've also got these like wood step paths with some leaves intertwined or some flowers intertwined, which look really, really cute. But I really like these. I feel they're very natural and go on your cottage core island and they really blend in. Lastly, this one's less of a flower path to put on the ground, but this is a really cute path called the Hilla sign. Another one by Little Poppy Hill. They have two color variations of this one, but it's a really cute little sign that you can put if you're going into like a flower area or even just put it anywhere on your island because with cottage core it's just mess core but cute <laughs> but i really like this one i think it's super super cute and it really looks nice on the island not a lot of flower paths that we had to cover but creators with multiple flower paths <laughs> Next up, we have some grass paths, also only a couple to go through. This first one is kind of like a flower grass path by Christian Crossing. It's this really cute like leaf path. I have this on my island as well. It is simply one of my favorites. It looks really nice being put next to a tree or just scattered around the island. And I think there's a little heart shaped one as well. It's really, really cute. Next up, we have this bold grass. It says the November version, so there may be updates to this one. And this is by See Not Found. This is a really cool path. It is pretty much the flooring of the game and you can use this to either just make your own path or yet again have that in-game path thing and then have this to make it really cool and funky. We have very little design options with the regular in-game path so using these custom paths to decorate really 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 helps. <laughs> Lastly this is one of my favorite paths yet again by the wonderful Kuroneko is this little grass path. It is like a grass and stone path. I have it on my island. It is super 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 cute. Really nice to decorate the exterior of your island with and the grass looks so nice. Anyway, they have a couple of other paths, as I've said, amazing creator, but I really, really like this one and I've got it on my island. It's very cute. <laughs> Next up, we'll jump on into our stone paths. These ones are less what I see in Cottagecore Islands, but do also really fit in with the theme. First up, we'll start off with this porridge brick path by Marlin Animal Crossing Horizons. It's a really, really nice, like dark brown path. Lots of different opportunities to do with it, but really cute for maybe like a shopping district or a neighborhood or just to walk around. I think it's really cute and still has a bit of a Cottagecore feel to it. Next up, we have this Creator V. They have these really cute little like terracotta circles stone paths. I love these so freaking much. They have a couple other minor stone options for decorations, but I really like these like circle stone paths. Next up, we have the Fodlan Bricks by Alex of Fodlan. These are really cool and there's three color variations that match the castle items. Obviously, you don't have to use the castle items if you don't want to, but I think that they're really cool. And you know, if you're going for a sort of like more wood-like cottage core island, you can use the darker path. Or if you're going for a sort of more like lighter cottage core, you can go for the lighter path. Next up, up, we have this really cute cobblestone path by, you guessed it, Kuroneko. It has a few different options for less moss to more moss. I think it's really cool. There's a bunch of different design opportunities with it. It's just incredible. Next up, we have these really cute terracotta tiles. The creator, I think, is in Japanese, so I don't know how to pronounce their name, but there is their design code just at the bottom there. I think that they're super, super cute, and I think I have them saved to use for like a cafe. I just, I love them. <laughs> Next up, we have another moss brick path. This one is by Key Crossing. It's this really cute path, lots of different designs 
lining opportunities with it and it's got the moss on the exterior and it's just really cute. Lastly for this one we've got another variation by Kurineko. These are the old stone tiles and an old brick path. These are super cute. Couple of different design opportunities. You've got the moss and the grass growing through on so really cute paths. Definitely do not disappoint. Lastly let's head on into our miscellaneous category. There's only a couple of paths here that I wanted to go over but still some good ones nonetheless. So for our first path here is another one by Katz and I know it just looks like the stone and dirt pathing but if you look in the top row there there's these little frilly paths these are incredible to go around rugs <laughs> this just is so nice it fits in with any path and you can make anything you want into a rug with this next up we have a little cozy quilt design i really like this one because it has got that green and like orangey vibes to it i like the quilt paths i think that they look really cute and make for really nice little picnic areas next up we have this wooden bridge and door window planner by kuruneko this wood bridge is really cute you've got the option of a little bit of grass coming through or no grass at all and then if you like using the panels like I do you can have the options for like little windows or doors if you want to try and make like a little house area next up we have this really cute little natural deck and rug by Mori no Pui you've got a couple of different options here and you can make a little like cafe area or you can put like as this person has some like surfboards and everything lots of opportunities lots of ideas it's really cute I recommend <laughs> another cute path that I have saved this is from Erica in the top there's this little like four path rug thing with some like leaves on the side it is super super cute you also have this really cute like dirt path there but we're on the rug paths now i really like this one i think that it's got a real like nice embroidery feel to it and it's just super super cute and lastly another cute favorite of mine this little pastry sign here if you want to have like a little pastry shop this is something you can put on like a simple panel and it'll make like a little like shelf for you i think it's really cute there are so many different opportunities with like these sorts of pathing ideas this one in particular is by Fred, but I know there's like honey signs and shop signs and shelvings and windows and all that sort of stuff. As you can tell by my little farmer's market, there's so many different opportunities that you can do with simple panels to make it look like a full shop. It's really, really cute. Anyway, besties, those are some of my favorite custom paths when it comes to the cottagecore theme on Animal Crossing. There are so many, so I highly recommend just doing a quick search if there's something in particular you're after. Chances are it's already been made. Feel free to share some of your favorite custom paths pathing artists in the comments below if you enjoyed the video please feel free to subscribe and give a like but on that note i'll catch you guys on my next video bye everybody